All right, so this is why Eudemitis is such a damn big deal. He's our admiral. I don't think we really had anyone available at the time beforehand. He needs to go the fuck home. He needs to be gone. We'll replace him with uh, any of these. I don't care. Replace him with Xenophon. He's famous, right? Right. Go away. <laughs> Jesus. He doesn't even really have that much gravitas compared to some of these other leaders. I do want him to die, though. That would be great. If you could die, that would be great. There's this whole patriot thing. He's only at a negative nine now. Other factors minus 10. I think he, his other factors are the whole, uh, I think it's the faction leader dying. Every enemy army present on player's territory. Are you referring to like fleets? No one can do anything about those dude. They're water. It's water. Eh, I'm happy with 14 grand per turn. Thank you very much. We're making money hand over fist, and of course we will steadily increase that hand over fist cash. And quickly, I suspect. And quickly. Right. Spies and champions. Gotta move. Bactria is still in the game. Bactria is a very powerful faction. Uh, extremely powerful. Their unit selection is amazing. They have pikes, they have archers, they have powerful cataphracts. They start with two regions instead of one. Um, and really not anywhere to go until this, uh, until the satrapies of Seleucids rebel. But even with that said, it's still very powerful. I played a bit as them. But uh, as I said, I, I wasn't a huge fan of the whole wait for the sat... Punch my mic. Wait for the whole satrapies to rebel thing. It's just... Uh, I don't like sitting around at the beginning of the game. I like having a place to go, things to do, situations to resolve at the beginning. The only thing to resolve with Bactria is just uh, public order issues. You know, just let fight, you know, pop rebellions in the face as they come up, and eh, not into that. All right, Hydrogenos went home. Midas went home. Yeah, and stay the fuck home. Ooh, right, that's a problem. Ooh, that says zero percent risk. That's a fucking lie. That's a fucking lie. That's no bueno. And I don't think I can do anything to make them not hate me. Yeah. I can't. It doesn't have enough zeal, huh? Interesting. Does my... Do you? Six? Five? You guys are not very zealous, are you? Um, hmm. My Basilius only has five zeal. And he has the most zeal. Except for Leonidas, who also barely has any zeal. Hmm. <laughs> What is this? Does this give you zeal? Hmm. Get zeal. Be zealous as fuck. <laughs> that gives him war cry. That's a good ability. I actually like that. 
and 10% melee attack. That's actually really good. Yeah, I'll keep those. Uh, now, could you do the thing? You could do the thing. Okay. It reduces some of his gravitas and costs him some gravitas. But that'll help the loyalty a bit. Can he continue to do that? He can. Sorry to spend your your zeal on this shit. What's the sword? I could as try to assassinate someone. <laughs> Think about that later. You can't do that. Oh, the faction leader isn't allowed. Okay. My heir is Pantaleon? Mm. Okay. I mean, I guess it's your son. And I guess Leonidas is older than you. <laughs> Whatever. That's something to think about some other time. For now, it's a little less likely we'll have a revolt. What is what? What do they own, by the way? I think they own really important shit. They reponted. Uh, they, you know, they just own our capital. <laughs> just our capital. You know, no big deal. It could be worse, actually. It's kind of in a central location. Losing that actually would not be the worst thing. Aredium. Give me wine, I guess. I don't know. What does Aredium have? Uh, it doesn't. Okay. Pro probably grazing potential because everything in their mom has grazing potential. There you go. Whatever. Uh, um. Fleet. Right. Move out. Right, you're going to stop off at Penormos. You folks are almost ready to murder, knock the Romans out of Africa. Uh, I would probably liberate this settlement too if I can. That would be ideal. Only 30 more per turn. Ooh, yeah, give me that income from that. That feels good. Got a lot of stuff constructing. A lot of stuff constructing. It's good. Going for more of that culture money. Again, I would like it if I could see where that's coming from. I don't know. The total of my incomings. Is that is that the proper? Okay. Sure. How are we looking province wise? All right, Hispania, we have a... <laughs> We're not making money from it. That's not really surprising, considering the situation here. Kind of got some cultural, th cultural things going on. I guess build a culture thing there. Now, you guys really don't have a right to be this broke. Uh... Yeah. It'll get a little better here. This is a settlement I'll want to... Yeah, I'll want to upgrade that. And probably Medlands, too. I think so. In fact... Let's do that now. Yep. That's good. Spending that juicy cash. Om nom nom cash. In fact, fuck my citizens. <laughs> Wait. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, you exist. Um... Well, I, I won't be using these after after the fights we have so yeah I guess get ready to start adventuring soon uh, you, you've been around for a long time buddy 
A long time indeed. What am I spending on Empire Maintenance anyway? I don't know. It would be here? I don't know. It's it's here somewhere. I'm just not seeing it. I don't feel like looking. <laughs> Seems like effort. Yeah, sure. Keep doing that. Reduce that maintenance cost. Do I look like someone who wants to maintain things? No, I do not. Give us two more turns here and we'll have the fleet ready. Go kill us the... The last Romans that have access to the sea. That sounds good to say. I like it. I like it. So this episode will be the last of the... The last episode the Romans ever get to use boats, basically. You would find no. 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 No more war. We are a peaceful country now. I mean, you know, in a minute. Once we kill all of our enemies, we will be peace. The Pax Rosparto. No, I'm not a, I'm not taking the city for you. Fuck you. <laughs> you want to take the city for us? You're going to take it with one unit? Yes, we are. Yeah, just shove it up your ass. <laughs> Fucking bullshit game. No, you're bad and you should feel bad. Close. Yeah. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm not fighting the Averni. You can't make me. Not joining any wars at all. You can't make me. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Shut up. Alright. Our ruler reaches Pulpadeva, and what kind of ruler are you? You're a good leader. Extra loyalty and extra public order. Fantastic. Okay, they're no longer freaking the fuck out. <laughs> good, good, good. Glad to hear it. All right. My folks are dying here because there's a drought, probably. Go ahead and circle. Go ahead and take this. Uh, just... Yep. Sure. And go ahead and liberate the settlement. I don't want it. That creates the Tinebense faction, which I can probably trade with. Scroll, 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 scroll. Hello. pleasures of my household are yours to enjoy. Good. First, though... They better be. You exist because of me. I own you. I came as a supplicant. And the gods. Right. And uh, you know what, folks? Don't care enough. They're fine. Boom. 28,000 per turn. Marvelous. Yeah. You know what? There you go. Normal taxes. Th 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 peasants fucking rejoice. <laughs> rejoice, damn it. Uh, you guys willing to be taxed now? Yep, you sure are. Normal taxes, pretty damn reasonable as it turns out. Of course, they're earning me nothing in terms of income. Whatever. Give me food. <laughs> there you go. Give me that. Uh, Give me this. 
I'm going crazy, wheeling and dealing. <laughs> uh, great. Uh, fleet. Go ahead and dock. Sisalpine again, just totally broke. Just the brokest. This just takes food, so. Yeah, there you go. Enjoy. Enjoy your new, shiny new city. Ready for order. I gotta say, folks, I, I'm pretty confident that Alalia is gonna be as far as I go with this campaign. I'm thinking about it, and yeah. I don't really see any reason to continue. No compelling reason. It's weird. I, you know, I like to see victory screens as much as anyone, but... Eh. Ninety settlements is a little over the top for my taste. <laughs> I don't really care to paint the map red. At this point, I can just spam, 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 spam till the end of the game. Without any repercussions at any point, I can just build like eight armies of helots and just murder the entire map. Or more realistically, build armies made of nothing but foreigners and just spam those across the map. And as I go across foreign territory, of course, they'll just replenish. Which, uh, I don't know, man. Doesn't seem interesting. Especially with this level of income. Which, uh, without an army, is about, like, what, 40,000 per turn? Which, as you may have noticed, once I kill Alalia, I actually do not need an army until I feel like expanding again. 40,000 per turn, 5 turns, 200,000 bucks. 50 turns, 2 million. If my math is right. I don't know if I did it right. I don't think I did. No. Yeah, no, that's right. And that's before my economy really kicks in. As you've noticed, I'm just now starting to actually focus on my economy a little bit, and it's only going to get more ridiculous. All right. There's my fleet. Watch your backs into it, you men. 16 and 4, and a garrison. We hunger for uh, yep. Give me bodies. Step out. Alright. Character personality, yeah, yeah. Everyone's inspired. Yeah, people are starting to... <laughs> starting to be a little happier now that uh now that I'm not taxing the ever living fuck out of them. Three hundred wealth from local commerce, huh? This is wealth from industry, which does have a boost, but yeah, whatever. Makes very little difference. Faction rises, the Bowie Confederation. Mm. <laughs> you got the Bowie, you got the Bowie Confederation. Fantastic. One of them is probably rebels. The peasants are revolting. We'll have them bathe. Have them take a fucking shower. Nasimoni is here, really unhappy with me. Mostly due to expansion. Okay, good for you. I can crush you like a fly, don't forget. <laughs> the Ray D Confederation. Okay. Mostly mercenaries. Hmm. Mercenaries. All right, let's pull up another turn. Hercules has nothing on me. Are you sure? Various champions moving up.
get a sip of tea here. I feel like we've definitely done well on the diplomatic front, forming those buffer states uh, that actually get along with one another, actively engaging in most diplomacy. I mean, pretty much everyone I want to be friends with is I, I'm friends with. No problems between us. And that really helps. Eventually left unchecked, Rome w would probably end up expanding again. It may be harder on them, being at war with multiple people, but I'm pretty sure the auto-resolve is stacked in their favor, even if their units are inferior, to uh, actually allow them to expand. So eventually you would have to actually go murder them. And I think it's that way with most of the major empires. Gathers, you can feel the question is, you know, how much of a bonus and how much does, does that end up, you know, affecting the sandbox? Hard to say. Game's complicated. All right. Uh, tech wise, I don't know. Give me money. <laughs> Feed the greed or the beast. You know, take your pick. <laughs> Agents are having a fucking party. Join in. You know you want to. Your path is blocked. That is accurate. I may have actually pl blocked my units there. Whoops. You guys won't be able to reach this turn, will you? Almost. Blockading. Can you uh, assist us take this? You sure can. Let's end it. Boom. Sit the fuck down. Neat. And, uh, bye. And you know what? Bye. So. That effectively ends the game, at least as far as I'm willing to play. The ultimate objectives here are, uh, sheesh. Let me see. Do, do, do. Ultimate objectives are to control 90 settlements and also take Syria for some reason and Persia for some reason. Go all the way east, which, no. <laughs> Not interested. Um, economic victory doesn't really work, I think, as I recall it. From, from from what I understand to get the economic victory you pretty much just have to get the conquest victory anyway Cult cultural vid victory I mean I have to basically control everything anyway the, the, the settlements here are more reasonable I would need a monument of Leonidas don't I have one of those no oh, I guess I haven't built one this campaign I've built those before actually any who's it's let's take a look let's let's take a look back here so we have a pretty powerful empire we control all of Greece all of Thrace all of Italy most of Africa what we don't control we're allied with and between our allies and between ourselves, we own quite a bit of the world. We don't all own all of Rome, and also, as you can see, Rome is losing ground. Rome is about to die, actually. They're probably at war with quite a few people. So my concerns about them expanding were apparently unfounded. Let's take a look here. Yeah. They're at war with everyone. They're, they're going down no matter what they do. Speak if you must. Still not interested in peace, though. Still not interested in peace. Fantastic. Most everyone likes me, and the people that don't like me, we have a buffer with most of them, or they're not really willing to attack me. The next place to expand, if I were to expand, would be east. It would be east. But, as I've said before, I don't really care to. It would be a raffle stomp. Um, I would just raise several armies and raffle stomp them pretty damn quick. 
especially with uh, 25,000 income. You know I can tax my empire very high if I want. I can get 36,000 per turn, and that's without really focusing that economy. For example, getting rid of a bunch of temples, switching that over to agricultural and industry buildings, depending on the bonuses in each one. Things I could do. Things I don't want to fucking do, man. <laughs> Out of curiosity. Yeah, these are all military allies. And then we have defensive allies. I don't think we ever ended up with any client states. Uh, we might have earlier in the campaign and I forgot about it. But client states kind of suck. Uh, you want satrapies. Client states, uh, the client states can literally fight each other. Uh, someone can attack a client state and force you to decline your alliance with them. Break your alliance with your client state. Which is also dumb. Satrapies are an actual extension of your faction, which is what all client states should be. <laughs> but that's fine. I call this a pretty damn successful empire. We we had a rough time of it starting out. It was hard starting out. We uh we made some misplays, some mistakes. We can look here. We've played over uh from 251 to 237 BC. Mm, that's not right. That's not everything we've done at all. This is just more recent events. This is a battle against Rome. Yeah. <laughs> we've been at war with Rome for like 20 years. I wish I could go down further. So our total income throughout the campaign was 3 million gold. Fantastic. 2 million of that coming from tax, 727 coming from trade. We destroyed a total of 1,400 units, recruited only 437 ourselves, fought battles, 87 of them, and we fought personally 54 battles this campaign. Only three naval battles. <laughs> Two ambush battles. Those were our most grievous losses. Oof. 34 of our uh, battles were sieges. Siege victories were 16. Total defeats. We only lost five times this whole campaign. Uh, one of those was on land, apparently. Two of them were ambushes. One of them was a settlement. One of them was a siege. We had 10 heroic victories. We enslaved 16,000 people, executed 11,000, and freed 24,000. We looted six settlements, raised seven of them, and just occupied 25. We liberated six settlements. Cool. Just look at our various actions and such. Never assassinated anyone. Very rare to do that stuff. Struck down in battle, an admiral. I presume, was that ours? Here's where we lost. Right, we lost Cleomenes the third, and we lost Perseus. Decisive defeats, close defeats. A valiant defeat, yep. Mm. Mm. That stuff hurt. And then we can probably see here... This is our uh, admiral raising his skills. Think this is Rome taking our cities and stuff? Yeah, Syracuse taking Syracuse. It's quite a few years later that Arius gets his ass down there. There's him developing Dread Commander. Rome was continuing to expand. Various people declaring war on Rome and us. And I think this is where Arius stepped in. Yep. Battle fought against Rome, decisive victories, taking Genua, taking uh, taking Rome some more, Panormos going down. 
it took Arius quite a few years to get down there. I wish I could look at my records like all the way back to the beginning of the campaign. Oh well. I do like those little campaign spreads. You may only get those if you uh, win, quote unquote. I could also do some civil wars and such. Can't even be an empire, no. But we end the game with 44 settlements and an income of 25,000 per turn. And at relative peace, peace with our neighbors for the most part, an uneasy peace with the Galatians. <sighs> Maybe not the most impressive empire ever, but I think for a series, that's pretty solid. Hopefully y'all, uh, hopefully for starters, this isn't too sudden of an end for y'all. But, uh, I want to do some other stuff. I got other games to play. I got some Warhammer. I got some other genres I want to try out for the channel. Hopefully y'all understand that. Davidia Tempera isn't leaving. We'll do more. I'll probably when I when I feel less burned out by the game, I'll probably return with the the Medowee campaign, resume that where I left off. Maybe a different faction entirely. But uh, hopefully y'all y'all learned either <laughs> some ways to play the game and probably some ways not to play the game. <laughs> and most importantly, hopefully y'all enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and I'll uh, see you guys on the next series. Have a good one.